Hey everyone, it's uh, your host Brian Heisler and welcome to Math Talk. And I want to talk to you about how to find equations of lines um, using the information from the formulas. So let's get started. So some tips to keep in mind when determining the equation of a line. Uh, first of all, I like to use the slope intercept form of an equation, which is y equals mx plus b. I did a video previously on how to use this formula, so make sure you check it out. Also, what you want to do is you want to plug in one of your x, y coordinates into your equation. You just take the number for x and the number for y and plug it in. It helps you solve for the other variables. You want to plug in the slope if you're giving the slope. And remember, m is the letter used to represent slope. And you want to go ahead and solve for b, which is the y-intercept. So let's take that information and use it and apply it to a couple examples. So we have a problem that says, determine the equation of a line that passes through the point 1, negative 2, and has a slope of negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and write out my slope-intercept form of my equation. y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to go ahead and take the information that I have and plug it in. So slope, I know, is negative 4, because they tell us that. The x value is the x coordinate of my point, so I'm going to go ahead and write that here, and then the y value is there. So I have three of the four values of my equation, which means I can use that to solve for the last one, which is b. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 for y equals negative 4 for x, I mean, sorry, for m, your slope, and x is 1 plus b. Now this becomes an algebra problem where I need to solve for b. So negative 2 equals negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 plus b. One step equation, I need to get rid of the negative 4 by adding it to both sides. And I get 2 equals b. So now that I've solved for b, I need to go ahead and finalize my equation. So my final equation should be y equals m is your slope, you want to plug that in, negative 4, x is just x, and b is positive 2. And this is the equation of a line that passes through the point 1, negative 2 with the slope of negative 4. So let's look at another example. All right. Determine the equation of a line that passes through the points negative 3, negative 4, and 7, 1. So this time, they don't give us the slope, we have to find it first. So the process is the same, but there's just a couple extra steps. So let's go ahead and use our slope formula. If you're unsure of the slope formula, I did a video previously on how to use the slope formula um, using two x and y values, so check it out. The slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And those are basically just the first and second x and y values. So my second y is going to be 1, my first y is going to be negative 4, my second x is 7, and my first x is negative 3. Okay? So moving on to the right, 1 minus negative 4 is 5, because it's like 1 plus 4. 7 minus negative 3 is 10, and I can go ahead and simplify that. 5 over 10 is the same thing as 1 half because they can both be divided by 5. So my slope is 1 half. Now what I need to do is take one of the two xy coordinate points, plug them into x and y from my formula, and solve for b. So y equals mx plus b. That's the end result that we want. y and x, I'm going to choose, let's say, the second point. I'm going to choose 1. Slope is m, which I just determined is 1 half. So I'm going to plug that in. 1 half. My x value for the 1 is 7. Because remember, whatever y value you use, you have to use the corresponding x value. And I need to figure out what b is. Okay? So I have to do a little algebra here. Let me simplify this a little bit. 1 equals 1 half times 7 is the same thing as 7 halves plus b. So I need to solve for b. I need to go ahead and subtract 7 halves from both sides. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this over here just to have a little more room. 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2. Any whole number can be represented as a number divided by itself. Any, the number 1 can be represented as any number divided by itself. 
Since I have seven halves, I can use the common denominator of two to make it a little bit easier to subtract. So I need to subtract seven halves from both sides. Two halves minus seven halves is basically whatever two minus seven is, which is negative five over two. So my B value is negative five over two. One last step to go ahead and plug it into my final equation, which I'm gonna use a different color for just to make it stand out a little bit. Y equals M, which is my slope, which is one half, times X, which is just X, and then my B value of minus five over two. So it becomes a little trickier when not only you have fractions, but you have to find the slope first because there's a few extra steps. But keep in mind, you need to find your slope. You can use the slope formula. When you need to use X and Y values, plug in the values from one of your points. It doesn't matter which point you use. And then use that information to solve for B. Once you get B, plug it back in and you have your equation. So I hope this helps when you get to problems like this. Thanks for watching. Hey, one more thing for all the math talkers out there. You see the red button down there? It's a subscribe button. Click it. Tell all your friends right down there. Subscribe. Spread the word.